You're an athlete who's been training hard for a long time, yet you still can't seem to achieve your dream physique. Every time you open up Instagram or TikTok, you see shredded influencers bragging about their steroid cycle. They even <laughs> joke about it, building their entire brand and identity around these substances, making it seem cool, safe, and completely normal. The comments are flooded with fire emojis, and sometimes you even find yourself wondering, should I start using two? It's a tempting thought, especially as more influencers openly promote steroid use like it's just another pre-workout drink. But before you even think about following that path, let's pull back the curtain. What really happens when you take steroids after 30? How about before that? The answer isn't as glamorous as those viral posts make it seem, and it could save your life to hear the whole story. I want to be clear, I'm not here to shame anyone or be holier than them. In fact, full disclosure, I've never used steroids and I don't plan to. Consider this a friendly reality check from someone who's done the research and wants you to know the facts before you even think about going down that road. What's so special about hitting age 30? For one, your body's hormone production shifts gears. Testosterone, the hormone that fuels muscle growth, libido, energy, and overall oomph, peaks in your late teens and 20s. After about age 30, it's normal for testosterone levels to decline roughly 1% per year. That might not sound like much, but by your mid-30s or 40s, you may notice subtle changes. A bit more fat around the midsection, workouts feel a little harder, recovery takes a little longer. It's no surprise that some men start looking for a quick fix to feel young again. In fact, in recent years, more men over 40 have been turning to steroids as a kind of anti-aging shortcut. They see it as a way to preserve muscle, strength, and vitality, traits tied to youthful masculinity. Guys just want to stand a bit taller and keep up with the younger generation. The pressure to look fit and youthful at 40 is very real. And with social media amplifying images of jacked guys in their mid-30s saying steroids changed my life, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking maybe a little boost is what I need. But here's the catch. Introducing synthetic testosterone into your 30-plus body is a whole different ballgame than a doctor prescribing TRT to an older man with a deficiency or a 21-year-old experimenting which is risky in its own right. When you flood your system with external steroids, you're essentially telling your brain and testes, we've got plenty of testosterone, shut down production. This has immediate and long-term repercussions, some that are amplified by the fact that at 30 or 40, your natural hormone factory is already dialing down. In a moment, we'll delve into those effects. But remember, just because something can rewind the clock on your muscle gains externally doesn't mean it's actually turning back time on your insides. In many ways, it can accelerate the aging process of your organs and endocrine system. It's true, steroids can deliver what they promise in the short term. A few weeks on an anabolic cycle and you might notice your muscles blowing up or your strength in the gym skyrocket. For a 35-year-old who's been plateauing, it can feel like a miracle, but that coin has another side. Along with those quick gains come a host of immediate side effects and red flags that start appearing within weeks. Let's look at the short-term picture. Rapid muscle gains, but at a cost. These substances can speed up muscle growth, but your tendons and joints may not keep up. Many users push heavier weights too soon, increasing the risk of muscle tears and tendon ruptures. Sports medicine experts warn that steroid users face more tendon injuries than natural lifters because their muscles grow too fast for their tendons to handle, making them literally too strong for their own bodies. Hormonal chaos and testicular shutdown. Performance-enhancing drugs flood your body with testosterone, tricking it into stopping natural production. This leads to testicular shrinkage, a plummeting sperm count, and potential infertility, even after one cycle. Imagine reaching your 30s, wanting kids, only to find out your fertility is gone. Erectile dysfunction, low libido, and a hormonal crash can follow when your natural testosterone bottoms out. The cruel irony? The very drug that makes you look more masculine can shut down the system that makes you male. Acne and hair loss. Steroids send oil glands into overdrive, causing severe acne, especially on the back and shoulders, bringing back those teenage breakout days. Even worse, <gasps> If you're genetically prone to male pattern baldness, elevated DHT levels can speed up hair loss dramatically. So while you're gaining muscle, you might also be losing your hair and covering your skin in acne cream. 
not exactly the trade-off most guys expect. Mood Swings and Roid Rage These substances don't just affect your body, they disrupt your brain chemistry, leading to aggression, irritability, and mood swings. Many users report sudden outbursts of anger, known as roid rage, with even small frustrations triggering extreme reactions. Studies link steroids to manic episodes, aggression, and even depression. One moment, you're confident and euphoric. The next, you're agitated or spiraling into a crash. These Jekyll and Hyde shifts can strain relationships, harm careers, and even lead to violence or legal trouble, a high price to pay for short-term muscle gains. High blood pressure and heart strain. One of the immediate effects of steroid use is elevated blood pressure, caused by water retention and increased red blood cell production. This thickens your blood, forcing your heart to work harder to push it through your arteries. You might notice a red face, headaches, or dizziness, all signs of rising blood pressure. Even a short six to eight week cycle can stiffen arteries, raise bad cholesterol, and lower the good type, increasing heart disease risk. Hypertension puts serious strain on your heart, and if your doctor saw your blood pressure or cholesterol levels after a cycle, they'd likely be alarmed. These aren't minor side effects. They're early warning signs of cardiovascular damage. Insomnia and fatigue. While these enhancements can fuel intense workouts, they often disrupt sleep, leaving users restless, wired, and unable to fully shut down at night. Over time, this leads to chronic fatigue, forcing dependence on caffeine and stimulants just to get through the day. They also interfere with key hormones like cortisol and growth hormone, throwing off the body's natural recovery cycles. In some cases, they even thicken tissue and contribute to sleep apnea, making restful sleep nearly impossible. You might look powerful on the outside, but inside, you're running on fumes. Not all side effects are dangerous. Some are just downright frustrating. High estrogen levels can lead to water retention, leaving you with a puffy moon face instead of a sharp jawline. Even worse, gynecomastia, or man boobs, can develop, and once that tissue forms, it usually won't go away without surgery. Ironically, the quest for a shredded physique can backfire, making you less confident in your appearance. And while some effects are just cosmetic, others are serious red flags. If those don't make you reconsider, the long-term consequences just might. Let's get into them, because this is where things go from bad to life-changing. What makes it especially tragic is that many of these issues hit people in what should be the prime of their lives. It's like speeding toward a cliff. You might not feel the danger at first, but gravity always wins in the end. Sometimes, real-life stories make the risks feel more real than any study. Sadly, the fitness world has plenty of examples of people who have suffered because of performance-enhancing drugs, some with tragic endings. Let's take a look at a few well-known figures whose experiences highlight these dangers, with respect and facts. Rich Piana was a legend in bodybuilding, known for his massive size and blunt honesty about steroid use. For 27 years, he took extreme doses, openly admitting the risks, even saying, steroids can kill you. Despite warning others, he believed the trade-off for superhuman size was worth it. In 2017, at just 46 years old, Piana collapsed and later died after spending two weeks in a coma. While the exact cause was unclear, his autopsy revealed shocking details. His heart and liver were twice the normal size, likely from years of drug use. He had also had cardiovascular disease, and friends said he would get winded just walking short distances. Piana's story is a harsh reality check. Even someone who knew the risks built a career on strength and warned others he wasn't invincible. His tragic death was a wake-up call that no amount of muscle can outmatch the dangers of pushing the body too far. Aziz Shivershan, better known as Z's, was the face of the aesthetic fitness movement in the early 2010s. Once a skinny kid, he transformed into a ripped, larger-than-life figure, inspiring a massive online following. His chiseled abs, party lifestyle, and viral phrases made him an icon. While he never openly admitted to steroid use, those close to him later confirmed it. Tragically, in August 2011, at just 22 years old, Ziz died from a sudden heart attack while in a sauna on vacation. The autopsy revealed an undiagnosed congenital heart defect, something he likely never knew he had. Did steroids directly cause his death? No one can say for sure 
but many in the fitness world questioned whether intense training, extreme dieting, and possible steroid use worsened his condition. These substances increase blood pressure and put strain on the heart, which could be a deadly mix for someone with an existing condition. Ziza's death shocked the <gasps> fitness community. The symbol of youthful strength and immortality was gone at 22. If there's a silver lining, it's that his passing sparked important conversations about heart health, leading many young lifters to get checked for hidden risks. His story serves as a reminder that genetics and performance enhancers don't mix well, and the cost of chasing the perfect physique can be higher than you think. Brian Johnson, better known as Liver King, took the internet by storm with his raw organ eating, ancestral lifestyle, and insanely jacked physique. He claimed his body was 100% natural, built solely through diet and primal workouts. Many were skeptical, and rightfully so. In late 2022, the truth came out. Liver King was spending over $11,000 per month on performance-enhancing drugs. Leaked emails exposed a cocktail of HGH, testosterone, and other anabolic compounds, proving that his transformation wasn't just from eating liver and lifting heavy. When confronted, he admitted to the lie, saying he felt pressured to embody his brand, yet another case of social media influence pushing someone to extremes. Though he hasn't suffered a medical emergency yet, his blood work showed alarming markers, including sky-high IGF-1 levels, which can enlarge organs, increase heart disease risk, and even cause liver damage. He was on the same dangerous path as many before him, risking long-term organ failure for clout and an image. Liver King now claims he's quitting performance enhancers and downsizing for his health, but only time will tell if he truly avoids the consequences. His story is a modern warning. Even smart, successful people can fall into the trap of chasing size, youth, and fame at any cost. If he hadn't been exposed, who knows how far he would have pushed it. Some pay the price early, some later, but the price will come due. It might be heart failure in your 40s, or it might be crippling depression and low testosterone in your 50s, or a battle with liver or kidney disease. No one thinks they'll be the unlucky one until they are. Maybe you're in your 30s or 40s, frustrated that your progress feels slow while others on enhancements seem to grow effortlessly. You might be thinking, just one cycle, if I'm careful. The truth is, some get away with it for a while, but you never know what's happening inside your body or when your luck will run out. Steroids don't solve problems. They delay and multiply them. You might boost confidence with bigger biceps, but at what cost to your long-term health? I've chosen to stay natural. Knowing my progress will be slower and I won't look like a pro bodybuilder, but I also won't be gambling with my heart, liver, hormones, or mental health. When I'm 50, I'd rather be healthy, active, and present for my family than dealing with doctors and medications. Fitness is a marathon, not a sprint. The influencers showing off transformations rarely share the dark side. Insomnia, high blood pressure, anxiety, fertility issues, or funerals of friends who took it too far. Steroids after 30 or at any age aren't a shortcut to longevity. They're a trade-off where the bill comes due later. If you want to learn which are the best exercises for each muscle group, make sure to watch the next video.